So when it comes to sleep, you, there's an issue here because when you, you can't sleep, right? There's a, there's, a, there's a mental spiritual side to it. The mental side is that when you get into a habit of admitting that you can't sleep, um, you you ask, you make the assumption that you can't sleep, so it becomes a fact. That's the first part that you may not you may not realize it. So you you have classified yourself as somebody who can't sleep, so it becomes real, meaning that your belief of it uh, per, per, it makes it uh, normal or comes true. Okay, so the first step is deciding or making the mental assumption that you sleep well. Okay, that, that's why you need this book here, the kids' book, Imagination is Superpower. So you make the assumption that you sleep well. You tell yourself that you sleep well, even though you can't sleep well. You tell yourself you can sleep well. That's the first step, because if you if you make the assumption that you can't sleep well, you can't sleep. That's it. Period. Okay. You have the racing thoughts. You have the racing mind. You have things to keep up on you. That's step one. Step two. Let's use a diet. Fix the diet. If you go on a high fruit diet, you're going to be clearing up the mucus affecting the pineal gland here. That affects your sleep and other other glands. So step number two. Use a, a good diet. High fruit or vegan diet. Step number three, use the right herbs. Please go to my website. I have a tea called the sleep tea and I also have a sleep formula, amazing plants. Um, it has herbs like uh, hops, California poppy, valerian, a skull cup, um, endless amount. I have so many, I have the best of the best plants in there. If you drink that tea before you go to bed, you will sleep well. And I would actually not make a tea. I would take the herbs, a teaspoon or two and I would boil it and make a decoction, boil it, Bring it to a bowl and lower and simmer it for a good eight minutes and then drink it before you go to bed. You sleep like a baby, okay? Um, there's another plant that I love, I make use of. It's called Mulungu. It's my, one of my favorite plants um, for sleep, but not only is it good for sleep, it's also good for your liver. So you get the benefit of fixing the liver as well as getting a good night's sleep, okay? So that's what I would do. Clean your sinuses, get the mucus out of your head region, you sleep better. Um, learn how to breathe through your nose. Don't breathe through your mouth, you sleep better. Okay, a, a technique you can use very, very powerful is that you're going to inhale through your, your your nose. You close your mouth and inhale very, very deeply so that your belly pops up and hold your breath for a good um, uh, 10 seconds and then open your mouth slightly and breathe the air out and keep on doing that seven times, 10 times. You're going to sleep like a baby as well. Okay, so that's what I would use. But make sure you, you fix the mental, spiritual side before on your sleep problems before you address the physical. Okay.